Kung Fu me. Okay. Did you see how crazy that was? That that's a hero type shit. That holy oh, holy crap, bro. Why don't you go and defend some village? I agree, an incompetent hero who You're the worst human being alive. You You're the incompetent ones. <laughs> Stop wasting time. If we don't put an end to the waves, more monsters will come. And I can't do my job. Can we just admire the shield here? Everybody bags on him. Everybody trashes on him. But he makes the most logical sense. He is the most hero of all of them. And yet he gets treated like trash. And this is like the most ridiculous deeming scene ever out of the many scenes of shield hero but i just feel so bad for him because he just gets taken advantage of hey 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 welcome to the channel uh today we're going to be talking about rising of shield hero one of my favorite animes an anime that I was actually looking forward to this year considering that season two was supposed to be dropping this fall but ended up being delayed till april 2022 life is sure great but hey if i can get a great product i don't care so let's talk about this masterpiece we all love our heroes to face adversity and to be true to the people but this series completely destroys its character his belief system and makes him out to be the villain like it was hard to watch rising of shield hero was not what i expected four heroes are transported to an unknown world to fight waves of destruction there's a spear hero a sword hero a bow hero and a shield hero our protagonist the shield hero has the worst rep ever because he does not wield the weapon which honestly is crazy to me because the whole series he proves that the shield is probably the most epic weapon ever because of all the options that he has to kill a motherfucker anyway he has no support from the royals or people but somehow in some lucky way the princess or we'll call her mine or in the future we'll call her bitch ollie helps him out by joining his party everything's looking great destroying pumpkin balls loving it up nothing can possibly go wrong right right all girls are the same and i'll never fucking forget it why why would you lie like that we're supposed to be a party <laughs> He gets betrayed by the princess, and betrayed is putting it lightly. It was probably the most fucked up shit I've ever seen. Yeah, this guy gets thrown in front of everyone, tested, trialed, doesn't remember anything, basically gets robbed, gets accused with sexual assault, and everyone believes her, and doesn't believe him at all. There's not a shred of evidence besides some lingerie, which literally could have been placed there, and nothing. There is no questioning, nothing, because guess what? This is the church, the kingdom, the royals, and corruption goes, and for some odd reason, the shield hero is caught in the middle of it. He basically gets shunned, has no money, no party members, no allies, and has to literally start from the bottom. And this guy works by destroying low-level monsters and has to get a slave named Retalia to train. And he has the best character. While she is a slave, he treats her like a person, curing her, feeding her, giving her a ball to play with like a child would normally want. This is no slave relationship. I mean, even when she got food, it was probably a sight for sore eyes because she has never seen that much food before ever. The shield hero, or Master Nafami as she calls her, needs her to become a weapon because he, he can't wield any weapons. Because if you're a shield hero, you're basically fucked just in general <laughs> but he always has her best interests in mind no matter what he cares for her even though he puts this tough exterior and even though he puts this exterior that he hates every single living piece of shit and trust me from the situations that he's been through i kind of get it there is a moment where he's telling ralph talia to face her fears it was probably the most epic moment ever considering that ralph talia has nightmares and horrible memories of her parents getting killed by the same beast that is at the moment killing master now for me and gets her strength and courage to tame this beast and honestly it was awesome anyway while the shield hero isn't treated the best 
he has a right-hand girl. A real ride-or-die bitch. Raptalia is a demi-human, treated like a slave, and has been through some shit, losing her friends, family to the waves, and the kingdom's corrupt ways. Her story's just as interesting, and while you think everything's well and dandy, Raptalia fighting the waves with the shield hero, everything's great. Shield hero just minding his own goddamn business, doesn't care about royalty at all, just wants to get the fuck out of Dodge and go back to Japan. But no, you fucking know it. There's always some bullshit. Just always some bullshit. You know he's been through the worst, but everything is fine now, right? Honestly, you've been asking that question every single moment, but no, no, no. Master Nalfami is forced to fight for Raptalia now because apparently the kingdom actually cares about slaves. Yeah, no, this kingdom just wants to beat the shit out of Master Nalfami. But yeah, yo, Master Nalfami don't give a shit. Steps up to the plate, defeats the staff hero. I don't know his name. Nah. Defeats the hero. But, you know, bitch, cunt, fucking mine has to come in and be like, no, that's not how kingdom rules work. We always win. But, you know, it's just... Uh I just don't understand why they want to see me fail like this. I didn't come to this world because I wanted to. You wanted it. You summoned me here. So, when Master Nafumi actually wins this fight... You would think it would be fair, but no, this guy gets wrangled and you just, uh, you cannot fathom the, just the pain he's feeling that he just loses all the time. And no matter what he does, no matter how he approaches it, it never works out. But at this point, it's only four episodes in and even just, I'm not losing my mind here i have no idea how to survive in this world i would probably just kill myself there's, there's no way coming back from this hellish nightmare the sheol hero to me is the most uplifting character because he's the definition of fighting through adversity sometimes you just want to give him a hug just pat him on the back and be like dude i feel you right now like i straight up like yo I need to help you somehow, some way. This 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 guy is getting the shit kicked out. But Raftalia is a ride or die bitch like nothing you've ever seen. Bitch wasn't having it. Shit, he's staying by the shield hero even if the shield hero doesn't want him around. Like she straight up doesn't care because that they had that type of relationship. Raftalia is older and mature now due to demi humans aging. It's probably one of the weirdest parts of the show. We want to keep it sexualized for the children. Anyway, uh, anyway, so the shield hero is the only person you could call a hero. Like in the show, helping the villagers. He might be like a dick, a douchebag, but he always keeps their interest in mind. It's more of a reflex because of how dog shit they've been treated. In. <laughs> and he'll save the villagers from like rotting animals, spreading diseases, plants, viruses, impoverished lands. Like the shit that the other heroes should contribute to. He gets that shit done and really he gets that shit handily, like clean. He doesn't need anybody's help. And could you blame him for being such a dick? He can't trust or show any sympathy. He is basically getting fucked every time. But even the heroes just have the audacity to just be like, why are you taking our cleanup jobs? Why are you helping the villagers? Like, like, dude, it's either you do it or he has to. Somebody has to do this shit and you're not going to do it. Like, it just, it pisses me off on how they just pissed the shield hero. I, I also respect the shield hero's business savviness. Like, this guy gets no help from the kingdom, gets no help at all but when it comes to money and dealing with his business the guy's got it good you know he has to create potions he creates medicine sells that medicine sells those potions he sells merchandise he even gets money by having his own taxi service like this guy can't do any wrong and the guy works at it and i give him that i respect him for it like there is facing adversity and then there's him making that definition worthless because he is the epitome of facing adversity. And honestly, one of my other, just my favorite characters in the show, Fila. 
This is probably his best companion besides Raftalia. I've, I've ever like this. She she's awesome. She's the best bird ever. Grew in two days, and I just want a series dedicated to this bird. Like this bird is a freaking savage. The things that this bird would do. Straight up a ride or die bird. Like honestly, even has the same wavelength when it comes to the way Master Now for me thinks. Like th this bird is. Awesome, love it. This bird is literally the epitome of Master Now for me. Facing adversity every turn, there's a literal point where they have to race, and this bird's like, Let's go. I don't care how hard the competition is, let's go. And all the royals are trying to mess with it, giving plot holes and you know, messing up the path and giving the other team the advantage because they hate the shield hero for some goddamn reason. But, but the bird, Philo, just comes in through clutch, does doesn't care wins the race like a G. I just love this bird. You can't fuck with this bird. She's probably the most cutest bird you ever seen, but but don't mistake it. It could fuck you up. It's like Master Not for me as another friend. It's just so great to see. Yeah, she also transforms into a girl. Uh you gotta keep it sexualized for the children, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> really sexualized for the children. But that sounded way too creepy, and I really apologize. I am not a pedophile. I know saying that like doesn't justify the horrible ear raping you got, but trust me, I am not a pedophile. Oh my god, that sounded horrible. I'm keeping it in though. <laughs> yeah, she also transforms into the girl. It's just like really stupid. But I think the series really proves that you have the power to like power through problems like you have that ability because there's going to be obstacles there's going to be shit that you have to deal with and trust me master now for me goes through a lot of shit but you got your best friends you got people behind your back you're great you know if you got people who are loyal to you helping you out throughout every step of your obstacles every step of your problems you got this for real and honestly, one of the other things is being a hero doesn't mean showing up looking great for the poster, you know, looking great for the comics, you know what I'm saying? Like, looking great. It's also about making sacrifices, making the hard choices, doing the work. Because it's not all about the glory. It's about the work to save the people. Something that the shield hero embodies is what makes him great. Because even though he has a horrible rep, he doesn't care. He just wants to help people. And while he's selfish intent to leave this horrible, horrible world, he also has that sweet spot. He knows that people think he's trash, but he can't get that rage get to him. It's a weakness. And we've seen that when he uses the rage shield that just utterly just destroys him, brought Talia, people around him, influencing people around him to make horrible decisions. And really, the shield hero needs to learn how to use, or at least not use that and suppress that. Nothing comes from frustration. Letting that control you will kill you. Anyway, this is honestly one of my favorite series. I I've seen it many times. And my complaints, if I had to choose one, which honestly there isn't any, is that it was an episode two or sh uh, two, one or two long. Like, there were points where I just felt like maybe they could have cut an episode. And there was a point where the show actually ended on the best note ever. But it still needed an episode 2 to continue on to season 2. Which was necessary. Don't get me wrong. I just felt like you had a, such an epic ending to an epic show. Just leave it at that. right? You don't have to continue. But I digress. It's just so great. I cannot nitpick the show. Because the show is amazing. Anyway. That's me trying to. You know. Find things to hate on anyway. Yeah. So this has been it. I'll see you next time. Peace.